Chapter 14, 14. Fisk's voice crackled back through the phone, trying to maintain its earlier composure, but tinged with a hint of frustration. I believe we've both come to the same conclusion. It seems we have. Kai hung up the phone as he turned towards Nathan. Do you really not want to take over Fisk? Sorry, what do you... Don't bother. Kai grinned as Nathan couldn't help but feel chills crawling throughout his body as they made their way toward the car, heading immediately to the airport. Northern Alberta, Canada. Jesus, I didn't expect it to be so cold. Nathan shivered, driving through the snowy landscape. The icy wind cut through his layers of clothing, making him regret not dressing warmer. The road ahead was a winding, narrow path flanked by towering pine trees, their branches heavy with snow. Kai, sitting in the passenger seat, looked out at the serene yet unforgiving wilderness. How close are we? I believe we are not too far, sir, Nathan said as he looked through his tablet tracking Rogue. Sir, she appeared to be in a vehicle not too long ago, but it appears she has made a certain stop. In the middle of the road? Kai asked with amusement as Nathan nodded. It seems they have started it without me. Nathan, unsure of what thoughts were going around in Kai's mind, chose to remain silent as he continued driving to their destination. The car's heater struggled against the relentless cold, but inside, the tension was warming up rapidly. As they drove on, Nathan kept his eyes peeled for any signs of activity. The snow-covered road made it difficult to see far ahead, and the trees cast long shadows in the dim afternoon light. Sir, there's something up ahead, Nathan said, squinting through the windshield. He slowed the car down as they approached what looked like an RV that had been through an accident. Sir, she's here! Nathan called out, pointing at the girl inside the car. Not so quick. Kai grabbed Nathan's collar, pulling him back right in time, before an angry man lunged at them with ferocious intensity, barreling through the snow. The man had wild, unkempt hair styled into distinctive mutton chops and a pair of sideburns that framed his rugged face. A fresh wound on his forehead had already started to heal visible in front of their eyes, closing up almost as quickly as it had been inflicted. Nathan stumbled back, his heart racing as the man, clearly enraged, came to a stop in front of them. Who the fuck are you? Logan growled, his eyes narrowing at Kai. And what the hell do you want with the girl? And why do you care, Mutt? Kai walked forward, looking down on the man who he had recognized as the infamous Wolverine, the sheer difference in their height was striking. Kai's composed demeanor and towering presence contrasted sharply with Logan's raw, feral intensity. Sir, Nathan tried to interrupt the two men, but his presence was completely ignored. This will not go the way you think this will, bub. Wolverine's voice was a low, dangerous growl as he stepped closer to Kai, claws fully extended and glinting in the pale light. I wonder about that. Kai chuckled, clearly not wanting to clear the misunderstanding Wolverine seemed to have about him. In his head, all he saw was an unkillable target that he could cut through how many times he wanted, as if his natural enemy was standing before him, a man who could kill everything and a man who could just not die. As the intensity in the air reached an all-time high, both the men were ready to strike, but before they could, a loud scream brought the two back to their senses. Without even turning to look, both the men acted immediately as Kai grabbed the incoming man by the throat and Wolverine stabbed the man with his claws. The hulking figure, taller and broader than Wolverine, with a mane of wild, dirty blonde hair framing his savage face. His eyes gleamed with a feral intensity, matching the animalistic growl that escaped his lips. Kai's hand gripped the man's throat like a vice, stopping the madman's charge with surprise. Sing ease. The man snarled and struggled against Kai's grip, his claws slashing wildly through the air. But before he could land a blow, Wolverine lunged forward, his adamantium claws extending with a metallic hiss. With precision honed through countless battles, Wolverine's claws found their mark, sinking deep into the man's shoulder. A guttural roar erupted from him as he stumbled back, blood spraying into the snow. He clutched at his wound, glaring at Wolverine with a mix of hatred and pain. It seems the whole zoo is here. Kai shook his head in annoyance. Stay down, puppy. The man who was clearly none other than Sabretooth snarled at them as his wounds began healing similarly to Wolverine. He lunged at them, 
but before he could make any further moves, Kai with a disgusted look decapitated the man immediately, leaving everyone except Nathan in shock. And just as the people around him thought he had enough, Kai launched a series of attacks, chopping Sabretooth into several chunks of flesh, making sure he couldn't regenerate himself immediately. Who really are you? Wolverine shook his head, unsure if he could protect himself and the girl at the same time against the monster in front of him. Kai looked at him from head to toe before chuckling. Shouldn't you be asking that question to yourself, Mr. Memory Loss? The scene was tense, with the aftermath of violence hanging heavy in the cold Canadian air. Nathan stood frozen, caught between the intense presence of Wolverine and the enigmatic figure of Kai. Snowflakes gently settled on the blood-stained ground as the adrenaline-fueled encounter left its mark on everyone present. Wolverine, his brow furrowed with a mix of confusion and caution, regarded Kai with a wary gaze. His keen senses still reeling from the rapid escalation and the sudden ferocity of the man who had dispatched Sabretooth so effortlessly. Kai, towering over the scene with an air of nonchalance, seemed almost amused by Wolverine's guarded stance. His eyes held a glint of recognition, as if he saw more in Wolverine than just another adversary in the chaos. Memory loss? Wolverine's voice was low, a growl barely contained. His mind raced, trying to grasp at fragments of a past that felt elusive and distant. You know something. Kai's grin widened slightly, though there was a hint of respect in his demeanor. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but what I do know is I have a job to finish here. Kai walked past, Wolverine as he pulled Rogue out of the RV using her robe as the girl fell to the ground. Wolverine still keeping an eye on him, watched the scene unfold, ready to launch an attack at Kai in case he wanted to do something to the girl. Thanks. The girl clumsily stood up, brushing off the snow from her clothes. She glanced at him from head to toe, annoyed by his rough handling, as she looked towards Wolverine. Who were they? The hell if I know, kid. Are you all right? He asked as Rogue began walking towards him wary of Kai, who was menacingly looking at her, but before she could, Kai grabbed her by her robes, picking her up. Bringing her face closer to his, he examined her with intensity as the atmosphere tensed. What do you want? Wolverine growled, ready to leap into action. Meh! You can have her! Kai threw Rogue over at Wolverine with enough intensity to knock him down alongside the girl who groaned in pain. Sir, is that all right? Nathan asked concerned, stepping closer to Kai. He gestured towards Rogue and Wolverine, who were now sprawled in the snow, and the tension hung heavy in the air. Kai, however, ignored Nathan walking towards Rogue. Stop teasing me, Mystique. As far as I know, you're not immortal. Chapter 15, 15. Kai's words hung in the frigid air, slicing through the tension like a blade. No matter how well Mystique could hide in her disguise, the mere killing intent and the amount of cursed energy she was letting out were easy for Kai to read. Rogue, still recovering from being thrown aside by Kai, watched with a mix of confusion and curiosity. Her robe slipped from her shoulders, revealing Mystique's true form, a shimmering blue and scaly skin. Wolverine, disoriented but quickly recovering, stood defensively beside Rogue, his eyes narrowing with suspicion. Who the fuck are you? Mystique, her features shifting back to her usual appearance, regarded Kai with a mix of admiration and wariness. Impressive. Not many recognize me so easily. Stop with the whole seducing maiden act. Kai yawned as he causally flicked his fingers, launching a slicing attack that cut through the air with deadly precision. The blast of cursed energy surged toward Mystique, barely missing her, as it sliced through the trees behind her, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Where's Rogue? Kai asked casually, aiming his fingers at her. Why the menacing look, dear? Mystique smiled as she placed her hands in the air. I am just a weak woman surrounded by two strong men. It's unsettling that you're threatening. Ah! Before she could finish her monologue, as she flexed every ounce of seductiveness she could muster at the moment with cunningness written all over her eyes, Kai casually flicked his fingers, taking off one of her legs in an instant. He watched as Mystique struggled and writhed in pain on the snow-covered ground, her features contorting in shock and agony. The severed limb lay beside her, shimmering blue and scaly just like the rest of her form. Wolverine, though taken aback by the sudden brutality, remained vigilant, 
his claws ready to strike if needed. Where's Rogue? Kai's voice was calm yet commanding, his eyes fixed on Mystique. Mystique, despite her pain, managed to smirk through gritted teeth. You think this will make me talk? Kai raised an eyebrow, unimpressed. I don't need you to talk. With a swift movement, he gestured again, and another blast of cursed energy surged toward Mystique's other leg, severing it cleanly. Her agonized scream pierced the icy air as she writhed even more, the pain evident in every movement. Stop! Wolverine growled, stepping forward, but Kai held up a hand, his expression unmoved. Go play hero somewhere else, Kai gestured, shooing off Wolverine as he turned his attention back towards Mystique. Crouching down, he calmly watched her face distort in agony. I know you well enough to know that you can regrow those puppies back, so why don't we skip the endless torture bullshit and you tell me what I want to know? Fuck you. Mystique barely let out those two words as Kai smiled pleasantly to everyone's surprise. What an annoying fucking day. Sigh. What's another dead mutant? Kai shook his head ready to take her life, but before he could, the ground beneath them began to shake immensely. Kai couldn't help but roll his eyes. Fucking juggernaut? Seriously? You brought the whole band just for this? The earth trembled as a massive figure emerged from the forest, shaking off snow and debris with each step. Juggernaut, towering over them all, exuded raw power and rage as he casually threw the RV away to the side as if it was just a toy. Wolverine and Kai immediately jumped to the side, taking Nathan with him. Kai immediately created a hand sign, launching a barrage of dismantle attacks, which managed to barely leave a few deep scratches all over the towering Goliath in front of them. Not amused by his attacks not working, Kai changed his hand signs as Juggernaut let out a roar rushing at him. Wolverine jumped in trying to stop the Goliath before them, but before he could stab him with his claws, Juggernaut grabbed Wolverine by the throat and hurled him aside like a ragdoll. Wolverine crashed through several trees before hitting the ground hard, momentarily stunned. Kai's eyes narrowed as he assessed the situation. Juggernaut was a formidable opponent, shrugging off attacks that would incapacitate most others. Nathan scrambled to his feet nearby, fear and awe etched on his face as he watched the titanic clash unfold. You're starting to annoy me, Juggernaut bellowed, his voice shaking the very ground beneath them. He charged towards Kai with thundering footsteps, the earth trembling with each stride. Same here. Kai grinned as he let out his second barrage of attacks, focusing his cursed energy. Cleave. Kai's grin widened as he focused his cursed energy on a more concentrated and potent attack. With a swift hand gesture, he unleashed a devastating technique known as cleave. The air crackled with dark energy as a series of razor-sharp blades materialized around Kai, swirling and pulsating with a malevolent aura. The blades shot forward with incredible speed and precision, aimed directly at Juggernaut. Each blade sliced through the air with lethal intent, seeking to tear through Juggernaut's formidable defenses. The cursed energy surged towards the towering figure like a relentless storm of destruction. Juggernaut, caught off guard by the sudden escalation in Kai's attack, tried to shield himself with his massive arms. The first few blades struck, cutting deep gashes into his armored form and drawing blood. The sheer force of the impact pushed Juggernaut back, causing him to stumble momentarily. But the more he withheld the razor-sharp attacks heading at him, the heavier the attacks got, as one after another, the slices cut deeper than before, threatening to nearly take his arms off. Juggernaut gritted his teeth with pure resilience alone. He continued rushing at Kai, who was standing still with the annoying grin that he consistently had on since the beginning. Despite the onslaught, Juggernaut pressed forward, his determination unyielding. He swung a massive fist towards Kai, aiming to crush him with sheer brute force. Kai watched as the raging Goliath's fist descended towards him with incredible speed and force. In the fraction of a second before the impact, as if carried on by a terrifying force, Juggernaut's huge body just slammed sideways, missing Kai almost instantaneously. Are you all right, sir? Nathan asked in a hurry, making sure Kai was safe but all he could see was an annoyed expression written all over his face. He turned his attention to where Kai was glancing, and he noticed two people heading towards them. The man was wearing a weird set of glasses that he had never seen before, 
and the beautiful woman by his side, with white hair, looked shared the same expression Kai had currently. This is why I don't go out often. Kai shook his head as he watched the two X-Men come to the rescue, late as always, but always there to show off in places no one wanted them. Cyclops hurried to Wolverine's side taking care of him, whereas Storm walked over to Mystique glancing at her for a second before heading towards him. You could have just let me handle it, she said with a hint of reproach in her voice, her eyes reflecting her irritation. I feel like a broken record, but same here, Kai rebuked as he stared down at her meeting her gaze. The tension crackled in the air as Kai and Storm locked eyes, each assessing the other. I don't doubt your capabilities, but there are lines you shouldn't cross. Storm's voice rang coldly. Don't lump me in with your merry band group. Kai replied with a snort. Let me guess, you're here for the same objective as me. I don't know what your plans are with the girl. Shh, Kai interrupted Storm with his fingers placed on her lips. Let I've had enough heroic statements for the day.